Happy New Year, everyone, and thanks for being here today for our daily devotional. Now, when I was at home in North Carolina over the uh, holiday break, I spent a lot of time uh, reading scripture, and I read through the book of First Samuel. And when I was reading through the book of First Samuel, there was a story, or really there was a person in there who stood out to me. And if you know First Samuel pretty well, you might be thinking, of course, it's David. Uh, David is fascinating and an amazing person to study his life, his shortcomings, his successes, all those different things. But the person who stood out to me this time through was Jonathan. If you're not familiar with Jonathan, Jonathan was the son of Israel's first king, King Saul, which means that from a worldly standpoint, a human standpoint, he was the rightful heir to the throne. So he would be next in line to be king over Israel. But God had announced that Saul was going to lose the kingdom and it was going to be given to David. And since it was given to David, that means it would not go to Jonathan. What's so amazing to me about Jonathan is the fact that he's in line to be king of Israel. And he finds out that the kingdom is not coming to him. It's going to David instead. And rather than becoming jealous, bitter, or envious, Jonathan actually steps into covenant with David and says, I will be your second in command. I will serve you. I will submit to your authority for I know that God has chosen you. And I remember just really being taken aback as I was reading that and saying, wow, would I have that sort of humility if I were to lose something that from a worldly standpoint would be so valuable? To, to serve somebody else with joy. And I wanted to share this today because I know it's the new year and so often in the new year we talk about resolutions and uh, for many people the resolutions can have to do with advancement in the workplace, uh, obtaining more power, more prestige, more notoriety. And it was just so encouraging to read about Jonathan, a man who loved the Lord and was willing to accept whatever position God wanted to give him. He would serve with joy no matter where he found himself. And I am just hoping that for myself and for you that we can do the same thing. Uh, we work hard. We trust God to put us where he wants us to be. And we serve with joy no matter where that is. And all of it will ultimately result in glory to the one who deserves it all. God bless you. I hope that you're having a fantastic start to 2021, and we look forward to chatting again tomorrow.